Welcome to another exciting episode of Talking About Elements, the podcast that delves into the fascinating world of the periodic table. I'm your host, and today, we're going to explore one of the lesser-known elements, borium. Borium is a synthetic element with a captivating history, unique properties, and potential applications that are still being explored. Join me as we journey through its discovery, properties, occurrence, production, and the myriad of applications that could make Borium a key player in the world of science and technology. Borium, with the chemical symbol BH and atomic number 107, is a man-made element that was first synthesized in 1981 by a team of scientists at the GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research in Darmstadt, Germany. It was named in honor of Danish physicist Niels Bohr, who made significant contributions to our understanding of atomic structure. The discovery of borium was not a straightforward process. It involved complex experiments using heavy ion accelerators to fuse nuclei of different elements. The researchers at GSI bombarded a target of bismuth-209 with chromium-54 ions, resulting in the formation of borium-261. This groundbreaking achievement marked the first time borium had ever been produced, and it opened the door to further research on this elusive element. Borium is a highly radioactive element with no stable isotopes. It is classified as a transition metal and is located in Group 7 of the periodic table, alongside elements like manganese and technetium. Due to its limited availability and short half-life, not much is known about borium's physical and chemical properties. However, scientists have predicted some of its characteristics based on its position in the periodic table. It is likely to have properties similar to other Group 7 elements, such as being a strong, corrosion-resistant metal. Unlike naturally occurring elements like carbon or oxygen, borium is entirely synthetic. It does not exist in nature and can only be produced in particle accelerators or nuclear reactors. Even though borium is not found in significant quantities on Earth, its discovery has contributed to our understanding of nuclear physics and the behavior of heavy elements. The production of borium involves complex nuclear reactions that require advanced technology and expertise. As mentioned earlier, borium is typically synthesized by bombarding a heavy target nucleus with a beam of high-energy ions. The resulting nuclei can then combine to form borium. One common method for producing borium is through the fusion of californium-249 with calcium-48 ions. This process yields various borium isotopes, with BH270 being one of the most stable and long-lived. Despite its limited availability and short half-life, borium has potential applications in various scientific and technological fields. Nuclear physics research, borium's creation and study have provided valuable insights into the behavior of heavy elements and nuclear reactions. Researchers use borium to expand our understanding of the fundamental forces that govern the universe. Super Heavy Elements Research Borium is part of the quest to discover and study super heavy elements, which have unique properties and could help us uncover new aspects of atomic physics. Material Science The unique properties of borium, if harnessed and stabilized, could have applications in material science, such as developing high strength and corrosion resistant alloys for advanced technologies. Nuclear energy, while borium itself is highly unstable, its production methods and the study of heavy elements contribute to advancements in nuclear science, which can have implications for nuclear energy production and safety. Medical research, radioactive isotopes of borium may be used in radiopharmaceuticals for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes in medicine, similar to other radioactive elements like technetium and iodine. Borium's extreme instability and limited availability present significant challenges for its practical use. Its short half-life makes it difficult to accumulate enough of the element for large-scale applications. However, the field of super-heavy element research continues to evolve, and new methods for the synthesis and study of these elements are being developed. Researchers are exploring ways to extend the lifetimes of super-heavy isotopes, including borium, which could unlock new possibilities for its applications. 
In this episode of Talking About Elements, we've explored the intriguing element borium, from its discovery and properties to its potential applications. While borium may not be a household name, its contribution to our understanding of the universe and the frontiers of science cannot be underestimated. As scientists continue to push the boundaries of nuclear physics and material science, borium may yet reveal its full potential and find practical uses in our ever-evolving world of technology and research. Stay tuned for more episodes of Elemental Wonders as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the periodic table. As scientists continue to push the boundaries of nuclear physics and material science, borium may yet reveal its full potential and find practical uses in our ever-evolving world of technology and research. Stay tuned for more episodes of Talking About Elements as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the periodic table.